what's up it's a girl Shelly here and welcome back to my channel as you guys can see from the thumbnail and the title of this video I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me today and I'm gonna be using mostly Fenty products I don't have like a full line full range full face of Fenty a lot of the Fenty products that came out I don't have a lot of it I do have and I was like I don't know what is it about filming makeup tutorials nowadays that I just don't I don't I'm not gonna say like I don't enjoy it anymore but I feel like it takes so much time and effort and I don't know like my makeup tutorials are not doing well on YouTube at all like I feel like everybody that watches makeup tutorials like who they like and that's it and I'm not saying that for the few of you guys that do watch my videos and do enjoy my videos I don't appreciate you guys and I don't want to film them for you guys but when you put so much time and effort into something you expect to get results right so um, not results in like one view re results in like a hundred thousand views or 5,000 views or 10,000 views so um, I don't know I just don't feel like I enjoy filming makeup tutorials anymore because they don't do well on my channel basically so hope you guys can bear with me and not filming so much but this video was all over the place too I started filming the sun was out and the sun decided to go down and then I'm like back and forth picking stuff up and then I keep forgetting to put my microphone on my shirt my microphone was sometime on the table so hopefully the video turns out good and you guys enjoyed but yeah if you guys want to see um, all the stuff that I used today to create this look <laughs> please go ahead and continue to watch. All right, so you guys see that my brows is already done. I already did my brows off camera because my brows are just like so up and down these days. I just have to film my brows off camera unless I'm doing a brow tutorial because I just can't. I, I, I hate, I don't know how people do their brows on camera. The moisturizer that I'm gonna use is the Clinique. It's the same moisturizer that I have been using in my past makeup tutorials. Whenever I'm doing makeup, whenever I'm doing makeup, I just really Sissy cakes. Face I just use the Clinique moisturizer. Now I'm just gonna use this Mario Badescu facial spray just to wake up my skin a bit. I really like how this feels. On top of my skin and I also like how it wears underneath my makeup because it makes my makeup like dewy and just give me that glow that I like in my face so that's why I like to use this as well and I like to use this before my primer not after my primer so that when my primer sets I don't have nothing on top of it just go straight in with my foundation I wanted to do a full face of Fenty today because Fenty has been killing it but Fenty still don't have like a full range line of products for you to, to give you a complete face so I'm gonna use as much Fenty as I can but anything that I don't use Fenty is because Fenty don't carry anything for that reason or I might not have it because Fenty is expensive you guys like Fenty Fenty is in a not drugstore okay you guys already know that the Fenty primer and the Fenty foundation is like one of my all-time favorite combinations of primer and foundation together so that's what I'm gonna be using today I'm gonna get a pump and a half from the primer and I'm just gonna saturate this all over the skin. I wanted to try start using a brush to apply my primer because I've used a brush in the past and I really like how it looks. And I used a brush the other day for one of my clients and it looked, her skin came out so nice. Pick this up a bit because I haven't used it in a hot second. And I'm probably gonna apply four pumps that was like three and a little pump on the back of my hand and apply that all over my face I don't color correct I just feel like it's an extra step that I I really don't need I really don't need I color corrected in the past a few times before and I didn't like the orange effect that it left underneath my makeup I don't know if I didn't blend it out correctly or what I did when I color corrected that day but I'm not into color correcting. I'm gonna use the Morphe E6 Flat Top Kabuki Brush to blend out my foundation.
And what I normally do is go in on my face with a second coat of the Fenty foundation. If you guys wear the Fenty foundation and you find that it doesn't give you the best coverage, apply a second coat. I always do that. Every time I wear the Fenty foundation because when I first got it, I was like, why is everybody saying that this is a full coverage foundation? It is not a full coverage foundation. But to tell you the truth, it's not that it's not full coverage. You just kind of have to like build it up. You really have to, to build it to get the full coverage effect from it. So I always go back and apply a second coat just to give me the effect that I want. The thing that I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. And I have this in the shade 380. I literally bought this concealer four times and brought it home for me to figure out which shade was for me. Because y'all know the whole situation with the same color concealer, same color foundation, she don't do that. I need my face to be bright. I need my under eyes, my forehead, my chin down the bridge of my nose to be a lot brighter than the rest of my face. Therefore, I could not use 420. It was too close to the foundation. So I got 380 and Unlike the foundation, the concealer is not as matte as the foundation is. The concealer actually doesn't dry down matte according to what I've seen, like how it worked when a lot of other people are using it. So what I'm going to do is apply the concealer on my face and then I'm going to go wet my beauty sponge and then come back and blend it out because um, everyone is saying that it doesn't dry down like how the, um, the foundation dries down. So we're going to put that to the test today and see if that's true, if it really does not dry down like the foundation. Right off the bat, I can tell you guys that this feels so creamy when I was applying it. Like I love how the formula feels. So I do have my Fenty Beauty Sponge that I bought like when it first came out and I really... I'm not a big fan of the sponge, not because it's not soft, but because it's so small. So I'm going to incorporate this sponge along with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm going to go with these and I'll be right back. And so what I'm going to do is use this to apply my setting powder. I really wanted it damp too because I don't want my setting powder to be too dry. But I'm going to use the Real Techniques Sponge to blend out my concealer and see how he looks. See, even this, even the 380, I feel like is blending right into my foundation. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know how it looks on camera. But in person, it looks like it's just blended. It just blended right into the foundation. Like, I'm going to have to go back and get, like, 350 or something because, yeah, these shades, when they blend out, they look darker than when you apply them. They don't look the same. Like, I like my under eye to be not like super bright, but I like it to be a little bit brighter than this. I don't know. I don't know how, how it's picking up on camera, but in person, it literally looked like a hint brighter than my foundation. There are certain concealers that crease underneath my eyes and then there's some that don't. And I feel like this is going to be one of them that crease under my eyes because it's not drying down at all. It's going to like, it looks like it's going to stay pretty much dewy until I set it with the setting powder. So I don't know. He also has matchsticks that you can use to cream contour and you guys know that I have been on the cream contour bandwagon for the past couple of months but um there's two shades that I tried in the Fenty matte stick and one of them is too light and then the other one is way too dark I feel like there should be an in-between shade and I think Espresso is the darkest shade and it's way too dark for me. It kind of looks muddy on my skin. And then the shade before Espresso, I forgot what that shade is, but it's it's too light for me. I can't use it to cream contour. So I'm going to use my Maybelline um, Stick Foundation and this is in the shade 370 Bronze. And I'm just going to use this to cream contour my face. This is probably close to Fenty's Espresso, 
But Fenty's, ex Fenty's Espresso is just slightly, slightly, probably a little bit, hint bit darker than this. And I don't know, I used it a few times and I just did not like how it looked on my skin. So, yeah, I just feel like there should be an in-between shade between Espresso and whatever the other color is. I forgot the color. I'll put it right on the screen if I remember it when I'm editing the video. I'm going to go back underneath my eyes and blend out the concealer again. All right, so now that I already finished blending out my cream contour, I'm gonna go in and set my face with the Fenty setting powder, and this is in the shade Banana. Um, I guess this whole line, they're calling it Pro Filter, because the foundation was Pro Filter, the concealer was Pro Filter, and now the setting powder is Pro Filter, so I'm guessing there's probably gonna be another line in the future of Fenty that's probably going to be something else because they're naming this whole line pro filter so they had so many shades in the setting powder i was low-key like hyped about the shades but then the shades were a little bit weird when you were kind of choose which one would work for you so i went with banana and i'm just hoping that banana works for me because it kind of looked like something that i would wear so i'm gonna go in and try it now to see how it looks Hopefully it doesn't give me a flashback or anything. So I'm gonna use the Fenty setting. I'm gonna use the Fenty sponge to apply this and right off the bat it smells so nice. Ooh, this this setting powder smells good. Mm-mm. Wow. Wow, I like how this smells. I really like how this smells. There's not a lot of makeup products that I like the scent, like I like to be scented, but the scent of this is really nice. Can we talk about the packaging for a second with Fenty? Like, can we show some real appreciation to the packaging? I just love the packaging. Like, the packaging is just so amazing. So the next thing that I'm going to do, because I look like a ghost right now, like I look like I would run from my own self, I'm going to go in and warm up the skin with some bronzer. So I have the Fenty bronzer here in two shades. You guys already seen from my makeup haul that I purchased two of them. I think I'm more geared towards this one because this one is going to be when I'm like in the summer when I'm like super tan. This is the one that I'm going to use, but for now I'm going to use this one. So this is Coco Naughty. And I figured from I picked them up that this would be the shade that I'm going to be using the most. So let's see how Coco Naughty looks on my skin. I'm going to kind of like warm up the product a bit in the pan. Then I'm going to go and use it on my face. I think that Maybelline contour is looking muddy on my skin. Yeah, I don't like how it looks. Mm, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. The Maybelline is looking a little bit muddy on my face. We don't have to try to fix that. I'm gonna take this Sephora brush. This is the Sephora Position 67 brush, and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. Let me put this phone on silent because this phone is bugging out. And I'm sorry you guys that I'm looking at the side. Like I am a low key blind when I'm doing my makeup and my mirror is so tall it would literally block the camera. So I'm going to have to get a shorter mirror because I had a shorter mirror before but that mirror literally fell one day and broke. What I'm going to do now since I have been baking for a hot minute what i think i want to do is i want to use mocha mommy because it's so red and see if i can warm up my face a little bit with it i don't want to go crazy with it i just want like a tad bit of it to see how it would look oh oh it's so warm i could use this for a blush wow i could use this for a blush i'm just using a little bit of it to just warm up my face yes all right i'm gonna dust away the setting powder 
And I'm gonna use my Sephora Micro Smoothing Powder to just set my overall face. I cannot wait for Fenty to come out with like overall setting powders because that's gonna be so good. Like, ugh, Fenty, you're not come out with the product them fast enough. Okay, we need a setting spray from Fenty. We need all these things from Fenty that they take it forever with. All right, so I want to do eyeshadow, but the palette that I have from Fenty is this one right here. This is the Galaxy palette. And I know it's not Galaxy season, or maybe it's Galaxy season, because it's like prom season. So if you guys haven't seen the Galaxy palette, this is what it looks like, but I'm pretty sure you have seen it already. I'm probably going to use the green. I'm going to use these two bronzers as my transition shade, and then to kind of like darken the crease a little bit, because I don't have have the other Fenty palettes to use like a matte shade so I'm gonna first go in with my Morphe M504 blending brush and I'm gonna go in with Coco Naughty and I'm just gonna use Coco Naughty as my transition shade I don't know why I wiped the powder from underneath my eyes because what if I have fallout I was not thinking about that I'm going to use Mocha Mommy, that's a darker contour shade, it has like a reddish undertone and I'm going to pop that right in my crease. Alright, now I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to take this green down here at the bottom in the center and then I'm going to take this one on the inner tear duct for my eyes. These shimmers in this palette, they're more kind of like that toned down shimmer. They're not like that shimmer that's out there. So probably why this palette did not get the, um, the hype that Fenty probably thought it should have gotten, but... It's a really nice palette, however, it's not going to give you that wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of thing. Like, it's pretty, but it's not like, oh, bam, in your face. Like, it doesn't give you that effect. So, you don't get the everyday wear situation from it. You don't, you don't get that everyday situation from the Fenty palette. It's fallout, though, all over my face. Hopefully this does not mess me up because I already took off the setting powder. I'm gonna now go back into Coco Naughty and I'm gonna kind of blend out the edge of the shadow up here. Let me try my fingers to see if I can get more of this product on my lid. Yeah, a little bit more. I guess that's the trick, huh? The thing that I probably love the most about this palette is this big mirror that it has. Other than that, it's okay. It's not like a need. All right, now I'm gonna use the Fenty Fly Liner and wait, let me dust this thing off my face first. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. Oh my God, it messed up my whole under eye area. Oh my God. Wow. It messed up my whole under eye area. Are you kidding me? Can't get it off. Oh my God. This video is a disaster. I'm going to see if I can line my eyes with the Fenty liner because I... fly liner is so bomb like oh my god I did not know it was gonna be that nice I'm gonna have to figure out something to get this thing from underneath my eyes like this shimmer is looking crazy I can't like I need to be done with this video already so I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe setting spray because Fenty does not have a setting spray as yet Guys, remember from the first Fenty launch, 
trophy wife this gorgeous yellow highlighter situation that Fenty came out with I never liked trophy wife on my face because I hate the yellow that it gives my sister loves it I personally don't like it on my face so what I'm gonna do with this is just pop this right in my inner tear duct right in here BAM I love this highlighter like the color of it it's just so pretty to look at but as a highlighter on my face no ma'am I don't like it so I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs mascara so I can pop on my lashes really quickly this part of the video is not Fenty by the way can you imagine when Fenty come out with a mascara it's just gonna be fire these lashes that I'm gonna be wearing today guys just an FYI in case somebody asks me these lashes are from my local beauty supply store so if you guys haven't seen like the bomb lashes that have been coming out for the past couple of days in the beauty supply store y'all need to go check your beauty supply store because the beauty supply store is not playing when it comes to lashes like you don't need to spend 20 30 dollars on no lily lashes these days honey like you get in the same effect from all these drugstore lashes not even drugstore beauty supply store lashes okay what a difference lashes make ciao let me finish up this face because this video is taking way too long right, so the other day when i was shopping in sephora i um went ahead and swatched one of the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighters because i don't own any of them and i went ahead and swatched the kilowatt highlighter in mean money hustler baby and it's hustler baby right hustler baby that side that i'm gonna use to highlight my face today and i did not even know none of y'all didn't tell me this highlighter was so good i just i'm just hoping that it doesn't show up ashy on my skin but when I swatch it I was like what this existed this whole time in the Fenty line and I didn't know nothing about it y'all did not tell me y'all did not tell me this highlighter was so good like what kind of friends are we like what kind of what kind of friends are we if these good stuff is gonna be out there and y'all not gonna tell me nothing about it like what go ahead and spray my face again you know what i also discovered not discovered but i also bought that i love this right here oh my god the diamond bomb and how many carrots and i just want to take a tad bit of this on my finger like i'm just like touching it like slightly touching it with my finger and I'm just gonna press this all over my highlight just to give my face like that pop of shimmer. Oh my God, this is so good. Like, oh. <laughs> For my lips, y'all thought y'all was gonna get the green and the yellow but not get the red. Everything has a meaning, honey. Everything has a meaning. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fenty Liquid Lipstick in Uncensored. And I'm not even, should I use a lip liner? I should use a lip liner because I am very messy with my lips. Hold up. I'm gonna use my lip pencil, this red lip pencil in Mary Jo K from Kylie Cosmetics. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Liquid Lipstick and I love the applicator of this. I could have used it to outline my lip, but I kind of wanted a guide first. So, this red, like the brightness of this red, is on a whole nother level. And that sums up this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.